Hello, everybody, and welcome back to World of Waves 2 as Japan. We are almost three years into our war with Russia, but we have gone from being... Oops, sorry, I had something in my, something in my teeth there. Uh, went from being completely outclassed and outnumbered in our, even our home area to now being the big dogs in this area. We've invaded Leotung Peninsula, even though technically we didn't, but we did in a previous save and carried over, but it didn't really affect too much. Uh, and we sank a whole bunch of Russian ships, big boys, small boys, all that kind of stuff. And uh, essentially they're on the back foot. Uh, we went from having a single aircraft carrier, the Azuma, a light converted aircraft carrier, car carrier, carrier uh, to now having two purpose-built light aircraft carriers, the Ryujo and the Shoho, uh, with the second one uh, almost done with their working up period. So yeah, works out pretty well. Though, uh, now we need to finish this invasion. We need to win. We need to get like a support battle so that we can uh, uh, help out our boys on this peninsula as they're fighting it up it. Uh, just like the ones at the beginning of this game in the old, in like the early 1900s, uh, hopefully we have a better shot of it. Oh, let's go to the next turn. Battleship engagement. I will accept that. Attack enemy ships in general. Okay, we got a battle cruiser detachment. We got two carriers, Ryujo and the Izuma. So here's what we're gonna do. I want the Ryujo's wing of Itachi Bs to ready a strike, and I want the Itachi C squadron on the Azuma to ready a strike as well. Everything else can be sent out as scouts. We've got two dreadnoughts, and we got a battle cruiser detachment with three battle cruisers: the Akoma, the Toshiba, and the or the Tuskiba, and the Simpson. So let's see what the uh, what the Russians have out here. It's probably not going to be too much. You can see the difference from the B and C of the Shiden torpedo bomber. That's amazing. We'll see what they spot. They're sending out their uh, scout planes. Naval strikes are ready. Come on, where are you at, you son of a bitch? Should be a single dreadnought out here. Where are you at? Ooh. Okay, we got readings. Scout 8 and 9, somewhere right around here. Heading... South, southwest. Okay. We can deal with that. Send our scouts up. See where they're at. Oh, yeah. There they are. We are going to go ahead and have a naval strike target this area. I want you to launch that strike. Yes. Damn. Uh, not even the C variant. Doesn't have enough. It's a bit late in the day, I guess. But we will find the son of a bitch. Oh, never mind. Ground-based aircraft did. Right there. Hit by a torpedo. And another torpedo. I think he's going to go down <laughs> before we even find him. Well, let's, let's see. Let's watch him. We'll go up there. Uh, we'll have... Uh, 
we've got a naval strike there. Let's go ahead and target this area and launch the strike. Yes, uh, send them out, I guess. Let's see what we spot. Then we go to the Battlecruiser Division. I want you at full speed, and you're going that way. Found him! Contact! Come on, Oddball and Iki. It's your job. Engage the enemy. The last Russian battle, the last Russian battleship. Oh shit, they're down there, they're down south. Okay, torpedoes in the night there. Okay. They did get a shot off on one of our... There we go! Found him! Ravage him! Ravage him! I want him just to be dust on the water. Oh yeah, he's getting hit by a shitload of shots. Both of his rear turrets are gone. It means his chase... Uh, yep. Yeah. He's in a chase, he's not doing much. Torpedoes are striking out. He's getting hit. The last Russian battleship in the Eastern Theater. <laughs> yeah, come back around. Hit by a torpedo, he sank. Yes! One destroyer down for one dreadnought and the last Russian dreadnought. Thought it could get at our carriers, but we were able to fight it off. Yes. Four more subs into the Navy. Shoho finished her working up. Enemy has sent out feelers, negotiated peace without border changes. No, we should not let them off lightly. Gotta fight. Derailed by the Hawk Party, yes. There's no reason to stop. Uh, examination captured en uh, enemy munitions has helped our research in AP projectiles. Good. Unexpected advances in explosive shells, so gradual increase in shell damage. It's nice. Uh, the Kawa... The Kawaashi Company has developed an improved model of the flying boat that uh, we kind of already discounted... Uh, I don't think that's better. I don't have anything to compare it to, but I don't think it's better, so we're not going to take it. Flying boat. Shenzhen is ready for service. Heavy fighting in Liutung Peninsula. Enemy fortifications hold up our advance. Okay. Sank nine of our ships that month. All right. We continue to do well against the enemy. We have destroyed their major combatants. They're down to a light cruiser, AMC, a seaplane carrier, and four destroyers. And that is it for the Russian Pacific Squadron. I don't think they've got anything coming out. So they are on their own at this point. We are fighting them. And only them. Uh, one more month there. We're probably not going to actually start building the Ashima class, but we have it in our back pocket when we need it. Uh, when we finish the Congo, we're going to build a whole bunch of Corvettes because I want to get our... I want to just put extra trade protection up so that we have extra to try and deal with the Raiders because that's causing a fuel shortage right now that I don't like. So that's something we need to look into uh, for aircraft types, by the way. So B, which is the one that, uh, that was suggested. Uh, not 
worth it. Yeah, not really worth it. Speed's too low. Bomb, yeah, it's got better toughness. Its maneuverability's lower. Its firepower's a little bit better, but it's not a combat aircraft. So yeah, we're going to obsolete this as well. We don't need it. Uh, our flying boat. The, uh, the Itachi Shinzei. Uh, or Shiuzei? Sashe? I'm not sure. Uh, we'll, we'll go with whatever comes out of my mouth at that time. Uh, is ready, so it'll start to be uh, put out soon. Uh, hopefully the Tenzan is also seems to be a bit low right now, but it's slowly getting built up. Yeah, we're, we're doing good work right now. Doing some good work. <sighs> Let's go to the next turn. Fleet battle? Accept. Yeah, I thought so, Russia. Strikes and anti-war demonstrations are going to take place in Russia. Okay. Uh, that's something that happened. Fighting continues in the Otung Peninsula. Enemy submarine destroyed our other <laughs> seaplane carrier. It's just great. Uh, they take a whole bunch of ships that month. Operations from the Great British Navy give us, uh, or the Royal Navy, give us another uh, 190 VP, plus 170 for blockading the enemy. So that worked out. Uh, not now. We're not going to build that up. What we are going to do is uh, build some of these Corvettes. I want a couple of them. Six of them. Uh, yeah, we'll be finishing up these guys here very soon. Four months for you. you can go to normal construction on you now. That's, that'll give us enough. Uh, subs are good. Yeah, we'll just keep going. Cruiser battle in support of land combat. Accept. Unable to challenge us. Strikes and any war demonstrations are going to take place in Russia. Okay. Uh, the Iki has condensed your trouble. Iki has a lot of troubles. Uh, two cor corvettes commissioned in the Navy. Enemy has us uh, with us getting disputed border in some of the colonies. We can fight for even better terms. A few more months. We can capture the peninsula. There we go. Uh, our scientists report that they are well on their way to understanding the double reduction gears. Okay. Understanding improved pressure hull. Rebellion in Burma continues. Forgot Burma was even in rebellion. Uh, they sank another one of our subs. We sank uh, three merchants that month. That was good. 190 VP for blockading the enemy. Uh, so one thing. Uh, these will immediately go on trade protection. Yes. Just put them on trade protection. They will they don't need a great amount of experience. Uh, get them on there and then... Uh, yeah, one more month for another one to come off slips. These, yeah, we're doing good. Let's just keep going, really, at this point. I mean, we could increase... We could start looking to increasing our... Uh, well, we don't have a lot of spare cash, so we're not going to do that. We'll just go to the next turn. Cruiser action, I will accept it. They decline. Uh, enemy raid on coastal shipping. Okay, we'll accept that. Unable to challenge us in the area. Another Corvette into the Navy. Top Spy managed to get blueprints for a Russian seaplane carrier, the Nipper. Uh, which is 10 aircraft, so it's not actually as good as our new seaplane carriers that are starting to be built. Our scientists report that they are within a cat's whisker of comprehending double reduction gears. So improved pressure hull gives us a 5% increase to sub reliability. Concentrated Concentration firing reduces the penalty for more than one ship firing at the same target. All right. Mitsubishi Company has developed an improved model of our fighter, the Mitsubishi Tenzin. All right, what do you got? So the Tenzin and the Tenzin B. So it's got a higher top speed, better cruising speed, better range at speed in all ranges, though not too much in the heavy bracket, better firepower, and a little tougher. And it actually can take a bomb load now. We'll accept that. I think that's a good idea. Uh, enemy fortification is still holding up our advance. Enemy submarine takes out one of our destroyers. And uh, we, we sank a merchant, but that was about it. 190 VP for blockading the enemy. Okay. We're still working up, period, but we're going to put you to trade protection because we really need you to. So, just continue to put on more and more, giving us a better and better anti-sub warfare stat which is kind of what I'm hoping for. If we get a better anti-sub warfare stat 
we can hopefully lessen how many ships they're sinking every month in the trade warfare phase. At least that's my thoughts behind it. Uh, let's check out aircraft types. So yeah, Tenzin B is being slotted in. It's being uh, none of them have currently gone out yet, but uh, the C is out there. I mean the the A or the original Tenzin is out there, so they'll slowly be replaced as time goes on. Let's check. We've got three light carriers in. That is something we could build ship. Ryujo. Let's see, can we improve the Ryujo? That would be something. Can we improve the Ryujo to any appreciable amount? Open design. Okay. So let's think about this. So Ryujo is... Reduces damage from engine hits. It takes out 100 tons. That adds a bit more cost. We get better armor. Okay. Let's see about upping the weight of this. Just a bit. So 600 tons. We up the speed. 27 knots. We can't get a better... We can't get more in here. Let's clear all values. Let's try for another one. Let's see if we can get these ones, so that'd be the this would be the Zaho. Less capacity, so not really. Twenty-five. What is the max for a light carrier? What is the max for a light carrier? Is it Twenty-seven. 30? Let's see, can we uh, up the weight a bit to get it compliant? This is, so the Taiho, this would be the Taiho, Taiho? Taiho? It would be the Taiho, there we go. Could do that, but we would need to get the tertiaries out of there. Drop you to three inch or four inch DPs, three inch DPs, six of those, and that's totally valid. How many planes are valid? Seriously overweight. This is supposed to be a light carrier 34 aircraft. Okay, 16,000 tons. So 34 aircraft. Seven tons there. That gets us quite a few caliber guns, director firing. Three inch guns. Can we, if we put them in single gun turrets, that can get DP mounted. Let's just add that to get some extra anti aircraft guns. So 33 anti-aircraft guns, 26 knots, pretty standard all around for, you know, a carrier. Standard small island of a Japanese carrier, uh, 34 aircraft makes this fairly good, two of these. 68 aircraft, which is a fairly good amount. This would be the be the Taiyo class. 20 months. It's kind of expensive, but it's not bad. Be 13,300 tons. It's mostly because we're just putting a lot of extra stuff into this ship. It's kind of over-engineered, but I like it. We're going to save that design, yes. 
Yes, yeah, go ahead and do a research on that. We might go ahead and just start working on extra... Extra ships. Extra carriers. Should be a good idea. Let's go to the next turn, though. Let's see what happens. Coastal Bombardment. Okay. Unable to challenge us. Widespread demonstrations and serious disturbances are reported in Russia. Studies of enemy aircraft give us performance data for a Russian fighter. Firepower is less than ours. Top speed, I think, is about on par. Combat radius is near ours. Maybe it's a bit less. I'm not sure. Uh, scientists are happy to report that they are close to mastering improved AP penetrator alloys. Okay, improves. Uh, so we've got a uh, heavy artillery geared sight. So improved HAA effectiveness. Uh, oh, what the hell is that? That'd be the Thyagastu barges. Improved invasion capability. Okay. Heavy fine Leotung Peninsula. Enemy fortifications are holding up our advance. Let's take another one of our ships. 200 VP for blockading the enemy. Russia's building motor torpedo boat squadrons in various areas. So that's something to keep in mind. Yeah, I definitely want to have more of these light carriers. The more we have, the better off we are. Americans are building full-sized carriers, so we're at a disadvantage there. One thing I do want to go ahead and do is... This Fuso is just not... We, we need to scrap it. It's taken up too much. Only temporary measure uh, that will let us free up funds for a new ship that will be more powerful. We'll lose a bit of prestige. we got plenty of prestige. We're going to lose it because it'll give us some money back. Because uh, the Fuso's not helping us at all. So we're okaying that. Scrapped. There we go. We're back in the black, even though we're working on all this. So that's great. Uh, so yeah. Next turn. Japanese... Light cruiser intercepts a Russian raider during running the blockade. Yeah, we'll fight the battle. See what they got. I don't know why it's all the way out here. It's working with the uh, the British, I guess. Let's see what you got. What are you, you son of a bitch? Twenty-seven knots. Plenty of torpedoes, so even if it's a big ship, we can make a run at it. Okay. Found it. What do we got? AMC. We're catching up, going full speed. Give me a torpedo blast. All right, it sank. Yeah, it was just an AMC of some sort. Okay. Well, we stopped them from going through a blockade. Widespread demonstrations and serious disturbances are reported in Russia. Okay. Uh, negative one quality, 16-inch uh, guns. That's nice. New float plane scout prototypes ready for evaluation. So we've got the current Kuin class, uh, or uh, not class, uh, type fighters a version uh so all of them got better bomb loads uh toughness is comparable maneuverability is better on most firepower is comparable so we're looking for range and reliability so what's the highest range we got 120 yeah okay so the yokosuka one is basically a no a non-starter the Mitsubishi one is a non-starter because of its speed and its range aren't comp aren't better. The Kawasaki one is actually pretty good though. Better load of bombs on all all of these. But its range is better in all brackets and its speed's better in all brackets. We'll accept that. Rebels in Burma have defeated the British forces. Burma is now declared independence. Heavy fighting in Leotung Peninsula. Enemy fortifications are holding up our advance. My god. Give up! Uh, we sank one sub. They sank another sub. They're going heavy on the subs now. Uh, another 80 VP from Great Britain. 170 for blockading the enemy. 
Uh, let's go to the carrier I want to build of the Tayo class. We're going to build two of them. 3,000 extra tons, but they give us almost... Uh, how many how many uh, planes do they have? 24? I think it gives us, yeah, almost 10 more planes. So, yeah, we're going to take that. Because the uh, Tayo... Yeah, 10 more planes. So we definitely want those. Uh, but we will have to go ahead and... Uh, Halt construction of you. Halt construction of these guys. And you. And hopefully that gives us enough that uh, next turn when the Akoma comes off, we'll have plenty of spare money that we can go ahead and put into uh, building all of these ships. Uh, but looking at the time, I think we're going to end the episode there. So, thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. Hit the like button. If you want to support the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. As well as take a look at the description down below where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye! <laughs>